if being special in an Italian sort of way is to be Maserati's defining trait, then it has largely succeeded inside the Levante. Its interior is embellished where the Kylans is antiseptic. It's emotive where the Kylan is restrained. And it's just damn nice where, well, the Kylan is nice. The aroma of leather permeates the cockpit, and its supple organic texture covers most every surface, including the dash and doors. The brown hinds in our Levante were accented with stunning white stitching, front and rear. Open pore wood trim inserts complement the brushed aluminum elements that form the sculpted door handles. Luciano Pavarotti, were he still belting it out at the Teatro alla Scala, would be at peace here for the commute home. The moment killer happens, however, with the observation that much of the Levante switch gear is shared with relatively cut-rate Fiat Chrysler products. The FCA influence is a mixed blessing. Maserati, left to its own devices, might have given us only stunning beauty in lieu of function. FCA, which brings economies of scale, had other ideas. The high resolution infotainment screen, at 8.4 inches, looks great and is big enough to be genuinely practical. The system operates with a competent familiarity and best in the business speed. And it now has a console-mounted dual-knob interface improving its usability. It did, however, freeze twice during our time with the Levante, locking its driver out of audio and ventilation controls. On both occasions, the system had to sit overnight to regain its wits, 